Okay. What's going on, everybody? Back with episode two of Life is Strange Before a Storm. I believe we're going to finish episode one in this gameplay. And the reason why I know that is because I had already... Class, that's just one more excuse for mom to sick David on me. I had already beat this episode, episode one. Uh, but something decided to take a crap on me during recording and lost everything. So I had to start the game all over to redo the part that you're about to see in this gameplay. Uh, while redoing it, I try to stick as close as possible to the same decisions I'm I made in the first gameplay. Excuses to stay out here. Um, Must mean it's chemistry time. When I say I tried, I accidentally pressed the wrong button on one. Oh, good. You're here. And what I mean by that is when, if you remember in the last episode, we stole the shirt and left the money. Well, this time, off camera, when I had to restart this, I accidentally pressed steal the money. I do beseech you. So, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. The game might well, alter a little bit you. differently. Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. And I also. And admired Miranda. Indeed, worth what's dearest in the world. When many we're playing that tabletop game. Best regard, and many a time had listened. I, Many a time, the man. harmony of their tongues <laughs> hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Meow. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Okay, so what I was saying is, another decision that I made different than from the first time was when we're outside playing that tabletop game. Instead of striking the monster in the head, I purposely picked the other answer of striking him in the arm, which then turned out to be me defeating him, but the character still died. So other than those two choices, everything should remain the same, I'm hoping. So let's see if I don't mess this up this time. Let's get into it. Miranda's an idiot. an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15. So your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, 
So obviously I know where everything's at since I already did this once, so. Rachel looks so happy here. At least it'll be kind of a smoother gameplay. It's the first time around I was recording this, I got There's Rachel's belt. lost on a lot of things. And that's not necessarily saying lost, as I didn't know where to find. To Rachel now. Didn't know where to find certain things. But now that I've already done it, I know where everything's at, so. Uh, Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? No. Um. Uh, I'll owe you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firelock live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Hold still. This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Much better. Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. What did you want? Hey, weren't you and Kim? Oh, why weren't you and Kim? What happened with Drew? People saying you were awesome. We always talk later. Okay. Come on. I don't like where we left things. We'll talk more tonight. Perfect. Is that a sarcastic perfect? Pull no. up a chair. 
Maybe one of these crates. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Yeah, probably. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. <clears throat> Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Yes. Is that what people do? Yes. Nice weather. It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. Okay, I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So... Which is the lie? You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so... Nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay. Your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? 
Let's see how good she really is at this game. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo -hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. That's debatable. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. The cheese. Good lord. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. How could you possibly know that? I broke my wrist when I was 10. Ah. The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... Six years ago? Seven. Well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is... something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point.
wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, want to listen? I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes... I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day... I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! A lot of trusting in this game. Sorry if that was loud. The controller was on the table here and it vibrated and that's what that noise was. I promise you I didn't sharp myself. So purdy. Hey, it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? that you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. So, this part here took me a little bit of time to figure out. I'm slow, so that doesn't help, Ready. but this will go a lot faster this time around. <laughs> so luckily you guys don't get to see how dumb I was. 
Cho really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it work. Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. All right, why is this Would not working love this time? A quarter even more. Oh, I know why. I already forgot that quickly. It's been a long morning since I had to play this twice. <laughs> Going on like three huh. hours now. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Now I can go back to her. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Ah, uh, what? Chloe Price. I heard some fucked up shit from Nathan about you. Who do you think you are? He doesn't need you, you dumb fuck up. Go back to your trailer. By the way, Rachel Amber obviously played you last night. You'll be lucky if she ever talks to you again. Oh shit, why didn't I see that? I'm so hurt. This is just the beginning, bitch. Jesus Christ. Why do people have each other's phone number when you don't like each other? I don't understand. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. So this is the part that took me way longer than it should have to find this object to pry that open. I walked all the way down there straight, walked behind me down there, looked every inch of this area only to realize it's right here, this decoration plate. Or dedication plate, sorry. Took a way, took way longer than I needed to earlier. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> hey, heads up, Wells is on the warpath. Oh no, seriously, just trying to help. Yeah, right, you killed me this morning. That's what the GM does, dude. Also, thanks for playing with us. Mikey had a blast. He's cool. He's been down lately, not sure why, but I know playing with you really meant a lot. Let's try this again. First got power, activate. A boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. Rachel smells like Jasmine. Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? <laughs> no matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic, but also beautiful. 
in its own way. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with these two? And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. This is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, jackpot! Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Wait, you're a prostitute? But I'm a prostitute! Now who gets paid? <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you alright? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead? No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And... Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. Alright. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. Horrible acting. What, what do we do? Should we check her pulse? Didn't you yeah, let's do that while I take this. Do it! You gotta be quicker than that, Jesus. Oh, thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. Uh, yeah. Y yeah, uh, I'll get right on that. Take it again. Are you getting help? <laughs> I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. Who are you waiting for? Go! Don't look at me. Look at Baywatch over here. Aw, uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. What? It's time to nut up or shut up. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. <laughs> That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Uh. Uh, uh look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. 
Stat. Uh, no. <laughs> yep. Definitely needs mouth to mouth. Lol. Okay. Okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look. He's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually you? knows what they're doing. And consider it a biatch. Okay, fine. I'm going. But when the police show up, I hope they don't arrest you. Arrest us? Good Samaritan law. Ever heard of it? It means you have to do everything in your power to help someone in trouble. Everything. <laughs> God damn it. I'm going in. Uh... Wow, I'm all better now. You saved my life from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yeah, good work, everyone. Peace out. Horrible, horrible acting. That was incredible. You're a hero. Huh, I guess I am. Oh, lol, Jesus. Here, you earn this. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? I've heard that actors are moody, but... Wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that alright with you? Okay. Actually... No. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. <laughs> yeah. I, I get it. I know I'm not the easiest person to be around. I don't exactly have tons of experience with the whole friendship thing. Not everything revolves around you, Chloe. I didn't say it did. I'm just saying I understand. No, you really don't. Fuck! <laughs> oh. uh. Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... 
Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. Here. If you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all. With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass. But seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? I mean, fuck, are you actually going to make me say it? Say what exactly? You know, like a friendship, but more. Ah. Uh. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on. Say something. Chloe, I... I... You know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and I'm... Chloe Price. It's not that! It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. Well. That was intense. Hulk smash, Fuck let's go. This place. Let's do it. Smash. <laughs> smash. You know she's fake. Y you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? <laughs> Fuck off, Rachel. I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. What'd Mom have to say? Your school called. I think you know why. We have a meeting tomorrow with Principal Wells. I need you to do better. Uh. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe Elizabeth Price, you can ignore me all you want, but there will be hell to pay when you get home. Uh, not this.
If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. Dad. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit kiddo look on the bright side would ya what bright side you made a new friend today Where's my marker? Oh, there it is. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Uh, 
I guess I did that? Sometimes people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it. The storyline is this awesome. <clears throat> Let me know what you guys think about this game as well. This is. I'm definitely glad I got this. All right, Ms. Attitude, what you got to say? You came. I'm glad. Are you really, though? Are you sure about that? I got kind of a different message this afternoon. Yeah. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... Jerry, Jerry, I'm Jerry. I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him, and I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong, because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream, and the other half, I forgot forgot that anything had changed it's silly but 
I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan, you got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you. Come on.
Life is Strange Before the Storm. I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, stay tuned after these credits to see a sneak peek of episode 2 coming up. That one will probably start... I don't know if I'm going to do it tomorrow or Tuesday. Ah, I'll think about it. But yes, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll let me know what you think of this. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Back to see the truth of
Thank you.